Nashville, Tennessee. The world capital of country and western music. They're used to making records in this part of America. Now a different record is at stake. One that could change the course of American history. Harold Ford Jr. is a politician with movie star appeal. At 26, he became one of America's youngest ever congressmen. Handsome and dynamic, Ford has captured America's imagination, and the Republicans are running scared. This is a nasty campaign. The stakes have never been higher. Tennessee is one of three critical Senate races. I'm the only person in this race. Ford is running neck and neck with Republican Bob Corker. But Ford is black and there hasn't been a black senator from the South since slavery was abolished. If he feels the weight of expectation, he doesn't show it. Mr. Ford, what's harder for you, to overcome racial prejudice or political prejudice? Neither. If I didn't have to answer those questions, I could keep campaigning. I don't look at it in those terms at all. People want change, and they, as long as they see me as a vehicle to change things and make life better for them and make America better and stronger, they're going to vote for me. So what kind of man parties with Playboy Playmates in lingerie? Both sides are guilty of negative campaigning, but one Republican advert attacking Ford caused outrage. Harold, call me. Many think the advert crossed the line. And they felt like the ad was trying to tell the voters, uh, hey, if you, if you want to put a stop to this and not have this happen, black men with white women, then you should vote against Harold Ford Jr. and in favor of his opponent. Check me out. Yeah, I know I'm playing with your independent black home. But the, the strategy may backfire. By targeting Ford, the Republicans may have helped to galvanize a powerful bloc that is normally reluctant to vote. Your voter's registration card in hand. Okay. Early polling has started. In black neighborhoods like this one in Bordeaux, the booths are busy. A few miles across town, it's the same but different. Ford needs to win a share of the white conservative vote. But race is a hard barrier to break down. Of course, we do have a lot of Mexicans. So, so race is still a big issue in this state? Yeah, I think so. We have a lot of Vietnamese and um, Muslims. And I wish the Muslims would take those things off their heads. <laughs> Ford believes his path is divinely inspired, that his work is God's calling, and his politics echo the teachings of the Bible. Harold Ford Jr.'s policies has some Democrats in a real spin. He's anti-abortion, anti-gay marriage, and he backed the Patriot Act. And down here in the South, those are the politics that matter. Churches do not normally endorse candidates, but this election isn't normal. There's a feeling that history is in the making. Sylvanus Weathersby works to repair the broken lives on this housing project known as Dodge City. How you doing? Gang violence, prostitution and drugs are rites of passage. A Ford victory offers hope that the cycle can be broken. We are proud of him as being a black man, but more importantly, what we really want from him is results. We want to see a change in lifestyle for the entire community. The South does not like change. They fought a war here to resist it. Now the ballot has replaced the bullet. It could be just as decisive. Ashish Joshi, Sky News, Nashville, Tennessee.